Welcome to Biodiesel Lab Objectives and Materials video. The objectives of this lab are to familiarize students with lab protocols, glassware, and safety. And also we're going to synthesize biodiesel from cooking oil. Let's take a look at some of our materials. Here we have a stirring hot plate, which is named so because it heats stuff up and it can also stir. It stirs them using a magnet that's inside underneath the heating element. There's all different sizes of magnets. We call them stir bars, and they're Teflon coated magnets that you then can immerse in your solution and use that to stir it. We have an Erlenmeyer flask, which is the cone-shaped flask. It's good for prevention of evaporation, preventing evaporation of volatile, material, uh, volatile liquids. We also have two different sized graduated cylinders, which are aptly named because they are cylindrical and they have graduation marks that indicate the volume inside. We also have a mortar and pestle. The mortar and pestle is good for, is used for grinding up solids into a powder. Um, they're typically made of hard materials such as ceramic. We also have a scupula, which is a type of spatula that's used scoop out uh, materials, typically to weigh them. We also have some forceps, which we will use to weigh out our sodium hydroxide. Which leads us to our sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide is also known as lye. That's a common name. Um, it is uh, the solid form of, it's a, sol it's a solid that is basic, and we will use it to, uh, as the catalyst in our reaction. We also are going to use methanol. Okay, so sorry, there you can see it. Methanol is a volatile organic solvent. And then we will use one of these different uh, cooking oils. So you can use any type of cooking oil to make biodiesel. We have uh, safflower oil, olive oil, corn, canola, and peanut oil. Um, typically, you would get to choose what type of oil you want to use and see if it makes a difference. Um, as far as safety goes, we typically are going to wear gloves when handling any chemicals. Okay? The gloves are to keep the chemicals from touching our skin, but you have to be very careful when you use gloves that if you get chemicals on them that you don't then transfer those chemicals throughout the lab, especially to uh, another person. So if we use gloves to handle chemicals when we're done, we want to take off the gloves and throw them out. They are disposable. Um, our sodium hydroxide is caustic and it will cause burns to the eye, to the eyes or skin. Um, we always wear gloves when handling solids and when cleaning out our mortar and pestle. Uh, if you get anything on your hands, you will wash thoroughly with soap and water. Um, we also just wash our hands with soap and water after we're done handling it as a precaution in case there was any contact that we were unaware. We also always wear chemical splash goggles to protect our eyes, just in case any were to splash up. Um, the methanol is flammable and it is harmful if swallowed, inhaled, or absorbed through the skin. We always handle this under ventilation, so ventilation could be something like our snorkel here, which is an exhaust snorkel that pulls fumes away, or it would be inside a chemical we always wear chemical flash goggles to protect our eyes as well, and we wear gloves when handling these chemicals. 